Welcome back this week, folks. Guess who's here finally? Bob. <laughs> Usually he's been doing the editing in the background and stuff because you've been traveling behind so much. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. It's been, uh, it's been a minute. Glad to be home. It's been a long minute. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't pay the uh, Jeep tab, so I just got to keep working, you know? It, it covers the taco tab. <laughs> it covers the taco tab. No, it does not, actually. Taco tab. That's what taco it's going to be. It does not cover that either. Well, we don't know because we haven't gotten on a trip yet since... Uh, it's been a long time. It's been too long. It's been... It's been so the big push now is we're really wanting to get both of our JLs sorted out and back on the trail again. We've uh, done a bunch of mods, but we've never really fine-tuned crap. I drove mine up to the Blessing, hauled the trailer, drove great. Oh, you hauled the trailer with it? Yep, too. I hauled the trailer with it, drives fine. Um, finally, I've got like, I don't know, 14, 1500 miles on my axles. It actually works great. Yeah. But there's some things I want to change. Oddly enough. Oddly enough. <laughs> so today, we're going to work on my JL again. I know Bob's got a list on his. Um, but it's all small stuff. It's not like big stuff like what you're doing. Yeah, you know, yours is, um, it's just not important. You know, it's one of those things where I think we we're just uh, commenting before we turn the camera on that um, this is the fourth time that Ken's uh, jail will be done. So, you know, hey, here's to number five. Well, <laughs> I know of, well, there's quite a few things. Yeah. yeah so, it's never done. I want to, uh, since I don't ever take my rooftop tent off, I'm really lazy. I don't like taking the rooftop tent off. I can't tell you the last time I took out my ARB fridge. It's got the rack in the back. Just ready to go. Yeah, literally, I grab two totes and a, a, the little fireplace yep. we use, yep. and I'm good to go. I'm literally loaded. Which, by the way, that twenty dollar thing was the best Amazon purchase. Ever. It still works. Amazing. Five I, years, six I years the, later, how long? I cooked the steak with it at the blessing. It was twenty bucks. <laughs> there was a guy there that does plasma cut. He's like, I could make those. I'm like, it was seventeen dollars. He's like, I'd buy five of them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, actually, that's been working out great. There's a couple things I want to change on my suspension. Um, we got some stuff to change in the front. We're going to go over that probably either next week or when the next video for my jail comes out. Today, I want to change the rear sway bar. The stock sway bar is fine. We got the extended sway bar links. Yeah. It works great on your Jeep. You Absolutely don't have no issues. It works great on my Jeep, but I know it can work better, and I'd like a little bit more stability in the rear. When I'm driving with the rooftop tenant, I can feel the rear wag a little bit, and I want to take care of that. So I got a hold of our friends over at Anti Rock. We are an Anti Rock dealer. I did buy this. Nothing was free, and I bought a Anti Rock for the rear of the JL. I opted for the alloy arms, because why would you not? Why would you not? So we got super awesome anti-rock arms for the rear. That's awesome. It's got parts, bushings, foam. What's the parts. difference between all these kits? Is it really just the length of stuff? No. Um, so as far as like, so you can get steel arms, you can get the alloy arms. There's your two options for the rear. Um, in the front, you can get steel arms, alloy arms, and there's like three or four different bar diameters, oh, okay. which can give you different, you yep. know, basically yep. a yep. spring yep. rate. Yep. Yep. Um, they have like a stock style replacement. They have more like, I don't even remember, don't quote me, but there was like the next step up. And then they have like an overlanding one and they have like the racing one, like, yeah. like, like crazy yep. stuff, yep. right? So it's all about the spring rate you need to match your needs. Gotcha. Um, this rear one comes with a bar they don't offer. Oh. So, based on my needs and what I want and how picky I am, um, I got a custom one. Oh. They, do, they do custom work also? No, they do not. <laughs> I didn't figure they did. So. No, they do not. Um, it was not cheap, but, <laughs> but I got what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, so, we got the rear, and like I said, it's got a custom spring rate to it. You know, honestly though, that's the way to do it, right? Buy once, cry once, we say that all the time. Like, if you know what you want, just go spend the money and get it. I did. Qu quit dicking around and just get it done, Absolutely. Right? And so they sent me these they're the basically like your toy bar link yep. rod and i have longer ones as well because i have my suspension really super maxed and tuned you yep. know we've yep. done it to yours yep. i believe i'm gonna probably flex way beyond what these are gonna allow me so but might not but might not. I might not. So we're going to start Test with this. Tune, we're right? going to put it together. Yep. And if it uh, doesn't want to work out, then we're going to put the other ones yep. on there. Uh, these very well could work. Uh, but there's a small chance they might not. So I want to have yep. longer ones here just in just case in needed. Case. Yep. Um, even me and their sales rep were like, ah, probably on the borderline. Yeah. So there's all the garbage out of the way. So we've already got the jail backed up to the shop. We're going to rip the wheels off it, rip off the stock sway bar, get this set up, get our angle set up, and get it ready. So uh, normally I would put this on the hoist to do it just because it'd be easier. But we have two major projects 
currently sitting on the hoist. Beautiful color. And in the sake of we needed to get video done and I need to get this done, we just decided to do it on the ground. It's always easier on the hoist though. So many more lug nuts. like Jenga. Out. So we put a little bit of a chain fur on this hole here. There's a couple little weld areas that we got in there and ground out. When you go to do the install, it's all right in the instructions. So now that we got that fit, we can get this basically just kind of pound in there. It's gonna be an interference fit. Rubber mallet's gonna be your friend. Make sure you leave your hole before you start. Mm. Let me find the stick too. If he starts moaning, I'm done. Mm. I'm done. That should be three quarter. Base and three quarter inch. No clip. All right, so there's the concept of the anti rockets installed. Pretty sweet. Install was actually super, super simple. What's going to take some time is getting this adjusted. I, can, I already know these are way too short currently as far as the adjustment. And there's a lot of adjustment. I actually have an additional hole on my axle because they're fusion axles. So I have a lot of room to play. And I bought longer rods because this is going to have to come up quite a bit. So I got to do a lot of adjustments. I'm going to save you the boredom of doing that on camera. We're going to flex the suspension out, get it all tuned in. And the rear is done. Now you have to stay tuned because I don't know if it's next week or maybe about two weeks, maybe three weeks out. We got some really cool stuff coming for the front. It is going to include an anti-rock, but there's way more than that. A whole lot more. So we'll see you guys next week.